can you imagine if armed soldiers storm a mosque here, the Central Mosque in Regent's Park in London, what happens? Or storms a synagogue or a church for that matter, what happens? What would be the reaction of the world? If Muslims, if armed Muslim soldiers uh, storm a synagogue or a church, you would have seen uh, 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 an international roar uh, uh, against such actions because religious places are really, uh, there is such a basic universal principle about the sanctuary, the respect, the bow for people's belief, uh, let alone when it is such a sensitive place at a sensitive time. So the question is, why Israel is doing this? Because they want to provoke. Why they want to provoke? Because they want to export their crisis, because they live on crises, they live on issues, they live on conflicts, they live on violence. And why are they being able to do so over such a long course of time? because they receive no consequences. The moment we start attaching consequences to people like Ben Gvir, Smotrich, Netanyahu, and all the army officers who pull the trigger with impunity, the moment we stop putting Israel above the law, the moment we stop really enforcing our international rules equally, I mean, it's a, it's a farce. It's a farce. When the people like you watching what the UK and the, and the US and the rest of the West are doing vis-a-vis -vis Russia and Ukraine, and then when it comes to Israel. The West insists to put Israel above every single provision of law, even when Israel turns against their own people in Israel still.